my favorite holiday? New bike day. Oh yes, it is finally here. We've talked about it. We had the last ride with the old road bike and gave that a proper send off. Do wish you well. But now it's time to unpack this new one. I never got around to finishing a video project that I started where we went out to Chicago uh, supporting some of my runners for the Chicago Marathon. And during that time out there, I linked up with my buddy Patrick Lino. My man Patty right here. Thanks for coming through, man. My pleasure. We gotta enjoy the ride. Nice little loner for the trip here. Now, I know, I know. It's marathon weekend, we get a run, but Roadie's gonna be a roadie. Um, and where can they tune in to get more of this delicious bike goodness? Oh, you know you already. They already subscribed. You know they already subscribed. You know they already subscribed. They're checking out Patty Bomani. If you don't know him. My name is Patrick Lino, and I am a cyclist here in the Chicagoland area who builds bikes, who does bike reviews. And he happens to ride the same train size. So while I was out there, reached out, and Pat was so kind to set me up. And while riding it, ugh. I absolutely fell in love with it. Had a conversation, one thing led to another, and boom. I bought that bike. And now that it's here, I'd love to walk you through what it is, putting it together, and what we're going to do with it. Check it out. Full disclosure. I am not a bike mechanic. There are certain things that I can do, certain tools that I do have, but a project like this, I figured, let me do it right. Let me reach out to some of the people I know who have put a bike or two together in their day and lean on my network for some help and learn a couple of things. Why do I stream? That's a good question. Uh, so you don't have black hands or the tattoo on the back of your right leg? <laughs> what, do you, what do you mean? <laughs> It's just easier maintenance overall. The only thing that where it makes a difference of whether or not to use wax is if you like to ride in wet weather, because the second you go through wet weather, you probably need to re-wax that shit. How am I cleaning up my wax chain? Uh, you don't, because all the stuff would have either probably bounced off and off the wax. And um, when you do need to re-wax, all you have to do is just dip it into hot boiling water and the wax will melt off and release the chain again. And then you dip it back in. That's it. So is this going to make me uh, 10 watts faster or what? Probably not. <laughs> but a clean bike is a fast bike and this is yeah. going to keep it clean. So. Exactly. You will probably get more life out of your chain rings and your cassette, especially as bike components get more and more expensive. But when possible, it makes sense to learn from folks that know a little bit more than you. Could I Google it? Absolutely. Did I want to hang out with my buds and build a bike anyway? You're damn right. Now, I could get into all the technical details, what it weighs, what all the components are, and why I chose this over that. And I'm just not going to. That's not what I'm here for. Patrick did make that video and I'm happy to link that in the description right next to the like button so you can go ahead and check him out. Why don't you give his channel a, uh, a like and subscribe while you're over there as well. Okay, okay. I said I wasn't gonna get technical. Now let's get into how this damn thing rides. Oh baby, it is just as sweet as I remembered. <laughs> it was a hell of a ride and more than anything, super comfortable. I mean, super comfortable. And we got the tubeless tires, the 28s. I mean, and the gear ratio. I am just extraordinarily comfortable. I'd love to say this is the first reaction, but I have ridden this bike before and it is just as comfortable as I remember it. Got it pretty much dialed in just right for me we'll see if i go any wider from 28 to 30 maybe 32 mil tires but even if i stay right here this is ridiculously comfortable it is fast and more than anything comfortable <laughs> did i mention comfortable yeah yep super duper comfortable have y'all heard that enough comfort is king 
Now, I don't care how airy you get, the same applies to my TT bike, right? If I'm not comfortable on that, then it doesn't matter how fast it can go. If I can only sustain that position going fast for like two, three, five minutes, then it doesn't matter because I'm riding for two, three, five hours. So getting comfortable was something I was really looking for and having it dialed in just right. And sure, you can make micro adjustments to any bike, but the other side of it was the reliability. I had to do so many repairs on this old thing that it just wasn't becoming financially uh, viable. Just like getting into your car, right? Like some people buy cars to work on them and some people get them to just drive them. And don't get me wrong, I do like working on bikes, I do like learning and tinkering with bikes, but to a point, I just want to be able to take that thing out of the garage, ride the piss out of it, give it a wipe down, and ride it some more, you know what I'm saying? Not only will this one be replacing my outgoing road bike, it will also kind of fill a void where I don't really have anything specifically for gravel. This is classified as an all road bike. This bike has clearance for larger tires, which gives me the versatility to take it on trails that I've been running on. So I can ride through and have a little bit more stability than you would have with a narrow 25C tire, which was kind of pushing the maximum of what my old bike could fit. I don't see a lot of gravel riding in my future, but I do have the option to scale up and expand to that depending on where life takes me. But for anything chunkier than light gravel, I've got my mountain bike. And that bike is still very well loved. I, it is not an extreme downhill bike. It is a cross country mountain bike. But at the same time, I am fine being slightly underbiked and for the non-cyclists amongst us. That just means I'll have to work a little harder to get to the same place versus a specific downhill bike has chunkier tires, uh, better suspension that you can just glide over everything. But I'm all right working for that dinner, you know, like I, I can put muscle it in. And really it is so fun to maneuver around and like that's that's why i go out on the mountain bike right like to have a little bit more lively fun and have that experience and not be so chill relaxed and laid back the last bike uh maybe my favorite bike is the tt bike and i don't ride that a lot often because it's not a ride a lot often kind of bike it is specifically for triathlon for going fast in a straight line. And despite it not getting as much time outside, I do spend an awful lot of time on that saddle because it is linked up to my Wahoo kicker right now. And man, that is a core part of my winter training cycle. And for as excited as I am to revisit some common grounds and some familiar spaces, I'm also keenly looking forward to some new adventures, some new places I can go, uh, some unbeaten paths to that uncharted territory. Uh, maybe I go further now. I can stay comfortable for longer. I'm looking forward to all these new adventures and all the possibilities it will open up, but that's it for me. Hope you are enjoying your time, whether you are out swimming, biking, running, or doing a little lifting in between. Till next time, y'all, I'm gonna get out here, put in some miles. I'll see y'all in the next one. It's been real.